my friends. In my previous video I spoke about current situation in Poland on the labor market due to the war between Russia and Ukraine. I will mention link below the video for all of you which still did not have a chance to watch it. If you are looking for a job in Poland in 2023, this video will be very useful for you. But before I go on to discuss the new topic, however, I have a very important request for you. I work hard to ensure that the knowledge in the videos that I present is up to date as possible and at the highest substantive level. Therefore, my dream is that my videos will reach the widest possible audience and that I can help people who want to take care of their migration processes to Europe. And you can help me a lot. All you have to do is click the button below the video, subscribe, and then the bell that will appear right next to it. This is just two clicks for you and for me a good chance for further development of this channel. If you can do this, I will be very grateful to you. Thank you in advance. Now, let's get back to our main topic. Many of you looking for a job in Poland undoubtedly think what are the professions in demand in Poland in 2023. On the Occupational Barometer 2023, the number of shortage professions nationwide decreased to 27 out of 30 compared to 2022. Unfortunately, strong shortages in some specializations make it difficult for companies to operate. But what exactly is an Occupational Barometer? The Occupational Barometer is a qualitative study. It is created separately for each powiat in Poland. It is based on the opinion of experts who at the turn of the third and fourth quarters meet and jointly analyze the situation in individual professions in a given powiat. This is why the deficit is determined by each powiat separately. On this occasion, it is worth explaining what a powiat is. Powiat, a unit of local government and second level administrative division in Poland. The higher level unit is the voivodeship and the lower level unit is the commune. The functioning of powiats is regulated by the Act of 5th June 1998 of Powiat Self-Government. So what are the deficit professions in 2023 in Poland? Truck drivers, nurses, midwives, psychologists, psychotherapists. Those are professional groups which are in high demand in Poland. The shortage of candidates in those professions is recorded in the largest number of powiats in the country. This is what this year's occupational barometer shows. However, there are still many specializations, the shortage of which makes it difficult for companies to run a business, slowing down the economic development of the entire country. Among the highest demand professions in 2023, there are 27 professions. In this video, I will focus on the list of the 10 most demanded professions in which foreigners from Asia and Africa will also find employment in Poland. When choosing 10 professions, which are also dedicated to foreigners, the main guideline was the need to know the Polish language. Many deficit professions due to high interactions such as teacher, doctor or psychologist require knowledge of the Polish language.
Here are the 10 most popular professions in which you will find employment in 2023 as a foreigner who does not speak Polish language. Construction carpenters. Deficit in 58% of powiats. A carpenter, also known as a construction carpenter, deals with woodworking, but in a different scope than a carpenter. His tasks include work related to the formation of wooden structures needed at the construction site. The carpenter is also responsible for the construction, as well as for the preservation of the wood with various chemicals to protect against insects, fire and water absorption. A carpenter will find employment primarily on a construction site where he has to work in changing weather conditions. Roofers deficit in 56% of powiats, including large shortages in 8 powiats. A roofer is a specialist without whom no house construction can be done. A qualified roofer cannot count on a lack of orders. A roofer is a craftsman who makes the roofing of various buildings. Roofers also maintain roofs that have already been laid. Electricians and electromechanics. Deficit in 79% of powiats. An electrician performs electrical installations, assembles, starts and maintains machines and electrical devices. Evaluates the technical condition of installations, machines and electrical devices after installation and maintenance. The task of electricians include performing technical inspections, maintenance and repair of installations, machines and electrical devices, repair of electric motors, measurements and post-assembly tests. Truck drivers deficit in 96% of powiats. Truck drivers do not have to worry about employment in Poland. The demand for their work is still very high and the wages are certainly satisfactory. It goes without saying that you must have a category C plus E driving license. The average salary of truck driver with a category C plus E driving license in Poland is about 7,000 PLN gross. In the case of international transport, the earnings of a truck driver will be much higher. Warehousemen Deficit in 67% of powiats in Poland, with a large shortage in 21 powiats in Poland. The work of a warehouseman is primarily the receipt, storage, storage and release of goods. The scope of tasks performed by a warehouseman may vary slightly depending on the size and function of the warehouse and the type of stored goods. Working as a warehouseman is one of the most frequently scrolling job offers available on websites with advertisements. Employers need many representatives of this profession because virtually every trade industry involves the need to receive, store and issue goods. Bricklayers and plasterers Deficit in 66% of powiats, with large shortages in 19 powiats. A bricklayer deals with erecting new buildings, renovating existing ones and making necessary alternations to them. This type of activity requires the ability to use various tools and devices. To work in this profession you must complete a basic vocational school with the appropriate speciality and complete the required internship. Operators and mechanics of earth moving equipment. Shortage in 74% of powiats in Poland. 
The operator of earth moving equipment performs various works related to the construction of earthworks, underground structures, preparation of concrete, as well as the construction and operation of roads. Operators perform their work using a mechanically controlled device of set of devices. Appropriate qualifications or courses are required in this profession. Employees of finishing works in construction. Deficit in 59% of powiats in Poland. The employee performs works related to the installation of drywall, painting and wallpaper works, as well as floor and cladding works in construction facilities. An employee of finishing work in construction industry works in companies providing comprehensive construction services in small and medium-sized enterprises, providing renovation and construction services, in craft plants and in the factories and warehouses of building materials. Construction workers, deficit in 62% of powiats in Poland. Construction worker is a person who performs all renovation and construction works. The main duties of this person include, among others, all carpentry, assembly, demolition, masonry and plastering works. The workplace of a construction worker takes place outdoors or inside the facility. Welders, deficit in 80% of powiats in Poland, including large shortages in 24 powiats. A welder is a person who welds elements made mostly out of steel, cast iron, using an electric heat source. The main duties of this employee include preparing the surface for welding, welding metal structures and plastic components, checking the quality of the weld, keeping documentations regarding your work. Please remember that in my list I included only 10 out of 27 deficit professions in Poland in 2023. The whole list of the demand professions I will mention in the link below this video. Is there a profession in which you have experience on the list of the most demanding professions in Poland? Please leave a comment regarding these questions. I am really interested what will be your answer. If your profession is on the list, this undoubtedly proves the great possibility of finding a good job in Poland in a given position and a higher salary. Remember to subscribe to my channel. If you have any suggestions for important topics that I have should cover in my blogs, please let me know. Thank you for watching my videos. Please leave a like and a comment below this video. Also, subscribe to my channel to regularly follow news regarding immigration to Poland and other European countries. Thank you for watching my videos and hope to see you next time soon.